sprint mm-hmm. is an adult. Okay. Now, the colouring is the same for male and female, but it's different for mature and immature birds. So looking at this bird with his speckled chest, you could tell he's in his first year. By his size, you know he's a male. Mm-hmm. And he's got all the equipment on his legs, just the same as the other hawks, starting with the band. Mm-hmm. That proves he's captive bred. And he's got a bell on each leg. That way, when he's made a kill in the woods, he's dragged it into cover and he's starting to eat it, I can find him. Because <laughs> he's not going to bring him back. And the leather straps are what we call jessies. Mm-hmm. They're like a dog with a leash and a collar. And there's a correct way to hold him. So what I'm going to actually have you do, Neil, is turn around. That's good. And he's going to jump backwards onto your head. Okay. And the jessies go out between your middle fingers, and now you make a fist. I saw something. Oh, he he's, oh, oh, oh. he's, he's well trained. <laughs> if he saw something, he'd chase it. He would go. Yeah. Okay. I, know, I mean, out here in the lessons, it doesn't happen that often given how much we're out here, uh-huh. but it happens. If people say, you know, we're going falconing, right. and there's no such word. If, you, if the, the act of hunting with a bird of prey is hawking, so even if you had a falcon, oh, here he would comes. go hawking. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, you know, I could I could have a falcon go hawking, I can I can be a falcon with a hawk. She is very, very keen on hunting. And she has a number of injuries as a result. Uh-huh. Um she's that heavy brow, you know, from the eagle meal. Yeah. That's protects eyes when they crash into cover. Well you settle that now, huh? So this one managed to break the brow on one of her on, uh, on her right hand side mm-hmm. so it, it doesn't overhang like it used to and um, she's missing part of a toe and that was a result of a squirrel bite squirrel bite? yeah it got a nasty infection and wouldn't respond to treatment so in the end it had to be amputated and foot and leg injuries are very common on birds of prey that hunt a lot of squirrel because they are such such aggressive prey um, it can't be avoided you know she will mostly go for that head hole but it doesn't, she can't always achieve it. And in the wild, that infection would have probably killed her. You know, so uh, that's a good example of why they, you know, she wouldn't have reached the, uh, the what is she, seven or eight years old? I think they're getting the hawk to stand on the gloved hand and to tolerate being around you. And then you get it to feed from your gloved hand, so now you've got your means of rewarding the hawk. And then what you'd start to do is introduce the bird to more and more things, you know, people, cars, dogs. And by using the food, you can use that as a way of rewarding the bird and make what seemed like a negative situation into a positive one. Mm-hmm. And so they learn quite quickly to tolerate way more than they would in the wild. But if you stop handling your hawk, it goes wild again. So you can't man a bird and be done with it. You right. have to constantly handle it to keep it tolerant of the people. Um, she's a Harris hawk, but she just found herself a little extra meal. <laughs> Is that right? Yeah, no, she just found a little bird, so uh, they're out here, they're hunting, so she's taking an opportunity to, to do a little hunting. Excellent. Yeah. yeah, she's doing her thing, doing what hawks should do. Oh, and what kind of hawk is it? Harris, like That's the name. Harris hawk? Yeah, they're a desert species, you'll find them in... Uh, yeah, so Arizona or New Mexico. Okay. Yeah, but she's uh, she's trained and bred in captivity. Trained. Somewhere hopping around on the on the side of the lawn here, and she was in the tree the other oh, side. She came okay. straight across and grabbed it. She saw a, a, an easy opportunity. Something like a mouse she'll swallow whole. And I, if I get her back, this is what I'm looking for: blood, fur, feather on the talons and beak. That tells me she's been successful. And then I need to figure out what she's eating or how much she's eaten, and I'll feel the crop right here. And the crop will swell as it fills. When it's empty, it's my finger would go into the to the second knuckle. It's like a dim, like a little dimple. When it's full, if she gorged, it would be right out here, completely swollen. And what she's eating there, the, the amount of swelling tells me she's eaten, you know, as I say, round about half of what she's eating. I mean, what we're doing is really the birds. This is a slightly accelerated version of what they do in the wild. You know, they they just gradually move around the countryside looking for prey. And so they're not using that much height. You know, they'll, they'll find a nice high position in a tree so they get a good vantage point. Mm-hmm. Um, but they're not going to use height, you know, up in the air like a, 
a, a falcon would be more inclined to do that because yeah. it hunts from an aerial position and dives after its prey. You know, that, that bird in a heartbeat can just say, don't need you right now. Something better comes along, something more interesting, and, and it's out of there. So it is, uh, but I think it, you know, just the hawk, well, people love the contact with the hawk. They love to hold the bird yeah. and see it up I can, close. I can understand that. Yeah, you know, it's, yeah, it's a thrill. It's still a thrill for me, you know, all these years on. I still get a thrill watching these birds, just, just hopefully like you do. Um, but then when you can come out and walk through the woods and have them follow you like this, mm-hmm. it, it just, people can't believe it. I mean, you saw the gentleman just now, and he's just standing there. Absolutely, I'm sure he's going to go home and tell yeah. everyone about what he saw. <laughs> we have seen, apparently, lost our hawks.